I want to say thank you to everybody who showed up to the live streams today. Man, if you haven't made it to one, they're a great place to ask your questions and get some answers. I also want to give a special shout out to Travis at the Cabinet Shop. Man, thank you for clicking that subscribe button and joining the channel. And of course, buying some AMC stock and becoming an ape. Now guys, I see a lot of talk out there right now saying that there's this infinite loophole that hedge funds were jumping through in order to short AMC stock but they were using something called convertible bonds. Now guys, we need to talk about convertible bonds because I know a lot of people out there do some excellent research, but here's the deal. If you go looking for trouble, what do you find? You find trouble. Now, I know when you go into the research and you've got a mission in mind, you want to expose the hedge funds, you're going to tend to look at things in a different light. And unfortunately, there's been some misconceptions and some misunderstandings about what convertible bonds are and how convertible hedges work. So we need to talk about it in this video. And of course, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. All right, yes, I will admit, it does seem like we've been trading sideways for three weeks by, by now. Oh wait, that's because we have been trading sideways for three weeks now. And it's okay, guys. We don't need to see AMC stock go to $100,000 a share tomorrow. It doesn't need to be something that we jump into and it happens next week. This is a movement. This is, this is a short squeeze. It's not a gr get rich quick scheme or anything like that. And I know a lot of people out there go and do a lot of research, but please always fact check, always fact check what you see. And before you jump on the bandwagon and, and believe that a lot of this conspiracy stuff is going on, at least get a better understanding of what's being talked about. So convertible bonds, a lot of people are correct. AMC back in 2018, and then they re-amended their agreement in 2020, they had sold $600 million worth of convertible bonds. Now a bond is simple. A bond is just another word for debt. You go take out a loan. AMC took out a loan for $600 million. Now the term of the loan is that they would pay a 3% interest rate. It was 2.95% per year that they were paying on a semi-annual basis. Now these bonds, at any point in time, the bondholder has a choice. They can either continue to receive that coupon payment of 2.95% or they have the option with convertible bonds to convert those bonds, to convert that debt into shares of AMC. Now, after the conversion rate was changed a little bit back in 2020 and all of that, we know that the stock price was falling. So after that conversion rate fell, they the, the conversion on that share of AMC for every $1,000 that you had in AMC, you got a little over 70 shares. It, it equaled out to be a $13.50 share price that you could get AMC for. And Silver Lake was one of the biggest bondholders at the time. What do you think they did back on January 27th when the price of AMC skyrocketed to $20? Correct. They converted those bonds. They got the shares for $13.50. They converted those bonds, and I'm sure they sold those shares because they wanted to take advantage of that difference in price. They said, okay, well, we can get the shares now for $13.50 and sell it for $20, or we can go ahead and wait for the next four years and just receive that 3% interest payment. So they took, advantage, they took advantage of that conversion. Now, a lot of people get confused with this, so we need to talk about it. There's a lot of due diligence going around and a lot of research going around saying that how could hedge funds possibly continue to short AMC stock when there's no shares available to short AMC stock with, and they're using these convertible bonds as a scapegoat. They're saying, and let's explain a convertible hedge first, okay? Now we know what a convertible bond is. It's the debt that allows you at any point up into maturity to convert that debt into actual shares of AMC. So a convertible hedge, it's been described, and I, I no disrespect here, but it's been described in a certain way. It says a convertible hedge 
is a form of shorting a stock without the market being aware because you are shorting the bonds, not the actual stock. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. A convertible hedge is when you own the convertible bond. You have bought that bond. You don't go out and short that bond, but instead you short the actual stock of AMC. So what is this doing? A convertible hedge is very simple to understand if you know what's going on. So you own the bond and you short the stock. Why would you want to do that? Because it's a convertible bond, you have to be worried about two things. One, yes, you're going to receive that interest payment from AMC. You're going to receive that 3% annual interest rate. But what happens if the conversion, what happens if the price of AMC drops? You lose money on the principal of the bond, correct? The, the share price is going down, so the value of the bond is going down with it. Now, how do you counteract that? You short a share of AMC. So essentially, let's just look at it very simply. We own one bond that has the underlying security, and we short one share of AMC. So now, we're making money on the stock when it goes up. We're making money on the stock when it goes down. They equal out. Okay, There's nothing more. We only benefit that 3% annual interest rate. That is what a convertible hedge is. So you still need to go out and short the actual stock of AMC if you are participating in a convertible hedge strategy. It's a, it's a great way to make that guaranteed 3% income, yes, but we can take it one step further if anybody is interested in it out there. If you short that share of AMC, let's say that it was trading at $20 a share and you got that bond and it's worth you know whatever you paid for it, when you short the share of AMC at $20 a share, you offset your original cost basis. So that 3% then, instead of $100, instead of it being 3% on $100, it's the $3 on an $80 investment. It technically increases the rate that you're receiving, and that's why hedge funds, that's why investors would participate in a convertible hedge. So yes, you absolutely need to go out and short the actual stock if you want to participate in a convertible hedge. Now, they are shorting the bonds as well, but there, there needs to be some sort of a, you guys need to understand that there's a difference in the stock market and in the bond market. When you short a bond, it does not affect the stock price or the equity in the company. The bond has already been sold by AMC. So these people that are out there trading bonds on the secondary market, just like the stocks are, that doesn't affect AMC, right? They've already raised that $600 million. So if the price of the bond drops all the way down to a dollar per bond, that doesn't affect AMC, okay? It, it's, it's not something that they're worried about with the price of the bond dropping. So, it, it, and it also does not affect the stock price of AMC. When you sell a bond, when you buy a bond, it's not going back. You know, there is a there is a little bit of a correlation. You know, if bonds are very, very cheap at the moment, and they're good bonds, of course. If they're very cheap at the moment, you might find some investors willing to go invest in bonds because they could potentially get a safer or better return than they could in the stock market. But that's that's something completely different, and that's not what we're worried about right now. So a lot of people think that because they can short those bonds, it's essentially the same thing and it's limiting the stock price of AMC. Unfortunately, that's incorrect and it doesn't lead to some sort of an infinite loop where they can short the bond and then they can short the stock and then they can short the bond and then they can short the stock. And there were also a lot of people saying that if they're shorting the bond, they're still receiving that 3% interest payment that they can go out and use to short the stock. That is also incorrect. If you short the bond, you owe that 3% interest payment just the same way as you would owe a 3% dividend or anything. If you short the bond, you're on the hook for covering that interest payment, that coupon payment that's associated with it. So although they can do it, if the company is failing, you can go out, you can short the bond. Absolutely, it's a good strategy. That's what they were doing. And finally, I just want to address the last part of it in saying that you know these hedge funds are causing the bonds and trading junk bonds on AMC. Standard & Poor's and Moody's, and there's a third rating company called Fitch. They're third, they're third party companies that go out and rate bonds based on a variety of things, including the fundamentals of the company. So this is not the hedge funds causing these bonds to be rated junk bonds. 
It's the fact that AMC is in a very tight spot financially, they're very debt heavy, and that the bonds do not look attractive to the third party rating companies, and that's why they got junk bond status, okay? That's why they're risky bonds. That's why you might find hedge funds shorting these bonds. So hopefully this clears a little bit of stuff up out there because I see a lot of people, I, almost everybody, saying that there's this infinite loop where you can go and short these bonds and it's like shorting the stock price and shorting bonds holds the stock price back and they can find these shares that don't exist in the bonds and that that's why they're doing it while it's on the show list and, and all of this stuff. And it might be difficult to wrap your mind around it. Absolutely, I understand. And if that's the case, if you find yourself with questions, please don't consider this you know, FUD, or don't consider this bashing or, or tearing somebody else's theory down. That's not what it is at all. And if you still have questions, I will be doing a live stream just as I do every day. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be live right at the opening bell, and then we're going to go till around noon or so, and then we're going to be live uh, power hour into after hours for a little while. And if you got questions, please come get them answered. I hope that everybody is, one, on the same page, Two, understanding what is actually going on out there. And three, just know, I started the video out by saying, if you go looking for trouble, you're bound to find it. We don't need to find any trouble. The strategy hasn't changed into some game where we need to expose corruption. The strategy stays the same, that we buy the stock and we hold the stock. And when the hedge funds that have shorted AMC go to buy the stock back from us, they have to offer higher and higher and higher prices because they are absolutely obligated to buy that share back. Are they obligated to buy it back tomorrow? No. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. This is an investment strategy. It's an investment style. It is riskier than investing in the underlying assets of the company or in the fundamental value of a company, but it is legitimate. It's not something where we need to expose corruption. It's something where we need to have patience. We need to hold the stock and we need to charge the hedge funds and all of the short positions out there to buy the stock back. Now guys, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments below or please, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and hopefully I can do my best to answer them. But there's a big difference in being able to answer in, in writing and trying to type something out and getting an understanding of what you mean. It, and it's, it's a lot easier to do it during a live stream when hopefully I can explain it and if I don't do it correctly or if I don't do it sufficiently, I can readjust it and explain it in a way that you can understand. So let us know down in the comments below, guys, and hit the subscribe button right here, man. If it's still red, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And Weeble, uh, Weeble's got a special promotion going on right now. If you have not invested in Weeble yet, you haven't opened an account, all you need to do is deposit $5 in July, and you're going to get at least two free stocks. One's worth $3, and then the other one's worth at least $8. So you can make at least $11 right there depositing 5 You've already doubled your money. Perfect. Use the link in the description below for Weeble and everything else down there. Make sure to check it all out. And I believe that's it, guys. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.